Well, howdy folks. My name is Sam and I'm the sheriff of this here town, Tubbleweed Canyon. My job is to keep the town safe and help all the people have barrels of fun. Well, I'll be. I just had a root and toot an idea. I'm needing some help today and I thought y'all could be my deputies. A deputy helps out and learns all they can from the sheriff. So would you like to be my deputies today? Yeah! Yee doggy! This is gonna be the best day in the West. Now, to be a deputy, you need to put on your special badge. Here you go. Just put it on your shirt like this. Looking good. Now let me see y'all sit up nice and tall, put one hand in the air and repeat the special deputy oath after me. I promise. I promise. To keep the town safe. To keep the town safe. And show God's love. And show God's love. To everyone I meet. To everyone I meet. Yeehaw. I say we stand up and sing a song to celebrate all you brand new deputies. Hey there, how do you do? We're headed out west, but we're waiting on you. Pick up your boots and join the fun. Just follow along, watch how it's done. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Howdy high, saddle up, it's time to ride. Get on your feet, lickety split, stomp your boots and just don't quit. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, get time to go spin your lasso round and round come on partner let's get down nowhere else we'd rather be come on and holler repeat after me yee-haw 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 Time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, get up, it's time to go. We're headed out west and we're all in this together. Get it up, partner, it's time to go. We're headed out west like birds of a feather. Come on, get up, it's time to go. Buckaroos, you can be sitting back down in your spots. Now, if you're going to be a deputy in this here town, you've got to learn the two rules of Tumbleweed Canyon. Rule number one is to be kind. Let me see all my deputies hold up one finger and say, be kind. Be, be kind. kind. Mighty fine. One way we are kind is by listening to others. If you can listen to the folks in our town today, click on your listening ears with me. Click, click. Good job, buckaroos. Now rule number two is to be safe. Let me see all my deputies hold up two fingers and say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. You got it. As we roam the streets and help those we meet, stick with me and keep your special eyes wide open. If you think you can stay safe, let me see you put on your special eyes too. Zoop, zoop. That's it. Our job is to check on people in the town and make sure that everyone is A-OK. -okay. Let's mosey on over to the town hall and see how things are going with Mayor Molly. Well, howdy there, Sheriff. Sweet Sassafras, I sure am glad to see you. 
As you can see, I've been busier than ants at a picnic getting our town hall ready for the annual Founders Festival. You know it's the best in all the West. We have games and rides for the little buckaroos, tons of toe tapping music, and lots of yummy desserts, including my award-winning apple pie. But Sheriff, we've got a major problem. It looks like someone's been messing in my kitchen. They switched out all the apples in my pies with red peppers. Now all my pies taste about as good as the tumbleweeds blowing through town on a hot day. This is not at all what I had planned. Sheriff, I gotta work on coming up with a new plan to get some yummy pies of bacon, but I need you to find the bandit who did this. If I don't get new pies of bacon soon, we won't have any for the Founders Festival. Sheriff Sam, I know how much you love apple pie, so can you help me? Well, I'll be. Deputies, we gotta help Mayor Molly in all of Tumbleweed Canyon. Let me hear you say a big old yee-haw if you're ready to help our town. Yee-haw! yippee ki As sheriff and deputies, it's our job to take care of the folks in our town. We need to track down the bandit that's been messing with Mayor Molly's pies and make sure they don't mess with anything else that's been planned for the festival. Speaking of that bandit, this here sounds like the shenanigans of old Billy the Bandit. Billy is always up to something in Tumbleweed Canyon, but I think there's something in God's word that can help Mayor Molly and old Billy out. Do you buckaroos know what God's word is? The Bible! You betcha! There's a man in the Bible named Moses. Moses was the leader of God's people, the Israelites. God had a plan for them to travel to a special land he had promised them. The journey to get to this new land wasn't always easy peasy, and they had to really trust that God had a good plan for them. So make sure you still got on your listening ears and your special eyes. Now let's check out this story from the Bible. God chose Moses to be in charge of leading all of God's people, the Israelites, to a special land. The Israelites knew God had a plan for them and that he promised this special land would be filled with milk and honey and great for growing food. God told Moses to choose 12 men to go and find out what this promised land was like. Were a lot of people living there or not very many? Were these people strong or weak? Moses also wanted to know if the towns had tall walls and if the dirt would be good for growing yummy food. After 40 days of traveling and looking at the new land, the 12 men returned to Moses. They told him all they had seen and showed him the big, yummy fruit of the land. But they also told Moses that the people who lived there were very strong and the cities had tall walls around them. Most of the men were very scared and they got everyone around them to feel scared too. Everyone was scared except Caleb and Joshua. They told Moses that they should go and take the land. They believed that God had a plan for them and that he would keep his promise to be with them. Because they trusted God's plan and weren't scared, God let Caleb and Joshua go into the promised land, but he did not let the other 10 men go in. God loved his people and he had a good plan for them. God loves you and he has a good plan for you too. Woo doggy! Just like God had a special plan for his people, God has a special plan for each of us, even when things don't seem to be going as we planned. That's exactly what we need to know today. Each of you are a part of God's plan to help Mayor Molly by working to catch old Billy the Bandit. And Billy needs to know that God has a good plan for him too, one that does not involve messing up the Founders Festival. Deputies, we need to use our special eyes and hunt for clues that will help us catch Billy the Bandit. Do you see any clues around here that might lead us to him? Way to use those special eyes of yours. This is one of Mayor Molly's pie pans, and it looks like there's a question stuck to the inside of this here pan. Deputies, did God want Moses to send 12 ducks or 12 men to check out the promised land? 12 men. Right, Rooney. God gave Moses a plan to send 12 men to check out the land he had promised they would live in. Deputies, do you see any other clues that might lead us to Billy the Bandit? Yeah! 
Well, sweet sugar, this pan has a question for us too. Deputies, when the 12 men came back from the promised land, were most of them sleepy or scared? Scared! Yes siree! 10 of the men were scared to go back to the land God planned for them to have. And those 10 men tried to get everyone around them to be scared too. We gotta be close to finding old Billy the Bandit. Deputies, do you see any other clues that might lead us to him? Yeah! All right, let's answer this question and maybe Billy the Bandit will be right around the corner. Did Caleb and Joshua trust that God had a good plan? Yeah! You betcha! Caleb and Joshua trusted God's plan for them, even when no one else did. And because they trusted that God had a good plan, he let the two of them go into the beautiful promised land and none of the others got to go. Deputies, when we find Billy the Bandit, we gotta let him know that God loves him and has a good plan for him too. This plan doesn't include tricking people around town. So let's practice. Just repeat after me. God, God has a plan, has a plan for me. For me. You got it. Now keep those special eyes on the lookout for old Billy the Bandit. Billy is on the run. Saddle up and help us catch him. Lean this way or that way to steer. Let's go. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Lean that way. Lean this way. Lean that way. Hooray! We did it! We caught up with Billy the Bandit. Get those lassos ready. Deputies, we did it. We caught up with Billy the Bandit. Do you remember what Billy needs to know? Say it after me in your loudest Tumbleweed Canyon voices. God. God. Has a plan. Has a plan. For me. For me. Really? Even me? Well, yippee skip. I'm real sorry for all the trouble I caused. Will you forgive me? You best be believing we forgive you, Billy. Remember that God has a plan for you, and that plan is not tricking the folks around our town. Now, you best be finding Mayor Molly and tell her you're sorry for messing with her pies. You can lend her a helping hand to get all those pies baked up nice and fresh. Deputies, that was some mighty fine work tracking down our bandit and telling him what he needs to know. I know this isn't what Mayor Molly had planned, but I think part of God's plan was for Old Billy to help Mayor Molly get all of her famous pies baked in time for the festival. I want you to know that God has a plan for you too. God loves you and you can trust that his plans for you are good. Hey, I know a song about that. Stand up and sing it with me. Sing, sing, sing Every single day when I 
Before you leave, let's say what we learned one more time. Say this after me. God, God has a plan, has a plan for me. For me. Well, I reckon it's time for you to hit the trail, but I can't wait to see you back in these parts next week. See you later, partners. <laughs>